There are some things that are hard to watch and yet also very riveting. This new Netflix documentary series, which is three episodes, about 45 minutes apiece, it's called American Nightmare, is just one of those. Very traumatic to watch in places and yet very riveting with each episode. Let's talk about whether this is worth it, whether those that get affected by certain things or triggered because they've had things in life happen to themselves as well. Maybe this is a word of warning, but let's jump in. And you didn't call last night when this occurred. So make sure when you're looking for this series that you type American Nightmare 2024 Netflix because there are a lot of titles with American Nightmare uh, even recently and it's unusual for me to say this when it comes to a Netflix documentary. This didn't feel stretched at all. It didn't feel drawn out at all. In fact, I wanted more from the story. If anything, there were some key moments in this that I kind of wanted to know more about. I felt like the story had a great fruition, a sort of ending that I was satisfied with and yet I was still frustrated with because all of the facts in this case have come to light in a story that's edited very well paced very well but will leave you frustrated in the way that only real life can as from the makers of the tinder swindler that documentary series from netflix as well which if you enjoyed that i think you're gonna like how they shape this now because it's already all the facts of this case are out you if you live in america or sacramento you will know a lot about this case but for us over this side of the pond in the uk probably a lot of of people have never heard of this i for one hadn't heard anything about this so it came in with fresh eyes my top tip would be don't read the imd synopsis if you want to kind of have some of the surprises in the twists of the case the unbelievable story that is told and that's the one big draw about this is that the story is so unbelievable that the police don't believe what's happened we have a kidnapping and then that's it and then no end then. Something in that kidnapping believes the police to believe that it's not true. And as each episode goes on, you get more and more frustrated with law enforcement and FBI as they're drawn into this big kind of media scream of, could it be this? Are they actually doing this? And I'm saying this just in case you haven't seen any of it, you haven't heard about it to kind of keep the surprises for you. But it's very frustrating to me to see how people in law enforcement don't do their jobs properly. But it also showcases how law enforcement people are just people and they can be fallible just like anybody other people. We hold, we hold them up sometimes in high regard, especially when it comes to FBI. And so we get different... I guess instances of a good law enforcement group of people that work well and some that are just terrible and when life is real often those terrible people don't get the justice or the up and comings that they deserve and that for me was just like oh god damn it i really hope that they would get the punishment that they deserve for putting people like this through so let me just say there is an instance of assault described we don't see it they don't reenact any of that kind of stuff thankfully but even the description of it may be too hard for some people to listen to and i totally get that so that's just my kind of warning there but the way the story is put together it made me want to watch every single episode back to bat and thankfully i had all three episodes and i could say yeah this is very riveting in a very harsh way you are rooting for them but you also don't know if especially if you don't know any parts of the case you don't know what's going on that's the way the documentary is put together the uses of recreation of some of those moments that they had to go through then taking the people that were involved in the case having them tell their story and when they get emotional you get emotional because it feels very real some of these netflix documentaries i've seen people that they're recreating or reenacting the moments of these things that happen to them it just feels force fed they don't feel like they're telling the truth Truth. these people for me at least they seemed genuine about the story that they were telling and then, and then, and then, and then. No, and then. the evidence that is overwhelming of their story like that is intercut and interlaced with the story that they've been told in amongst the interviews with the family members and the police departments and the fbi all with the real footage that they had of the time that was happening that makes it for a very interesting documentary that's put together in a way that keeps you guessing, but also reveals enough for you to keep wanting to find out what's going to happen next. And when you get to that end, I will breathe a sigh of relief somewhat, but also was very frustrated at the world that we live in, the truth of the world that we live in. I thought this was fantastic. I probably will watch it again with my wife because I thought the story itself was so unbelievable. It was riveting in that way. And... The fact that there's still stuff that's sort of going on, I guess, 
not all the questions were answered, and I don't believe they will ever be answered. But enough of the 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 case was solved for for it to feel somewhat satisfying. So I'm going to give this a strong four and a half Nicholas Cages out of five. <laughs> you got one. I think we could have had some more details. We could have had actually an extra episode just to kind of wrap things up a little bit more. Maybe uh, give it a bit of a break and come back to them. How are they doing down the future? Have the police found anything more about it? Now that they've put been put on edge, I guess, what's been happened to some of those since? Where have they gone? Have they had any um, reprimands at least? That kind of thing. But for me, I thought the way it was put together was fantastic and definitely worth your time to go and watch this if you can handle it and you're not easily triggered. Thanks so much for watching this review. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.